As you can see, the Emperor has actually forced uh, the second one, which is kind of scary. It's already on two. And uh, with this, they have uh, Diplomatic Reputation minus two, which is kind of bad for us because uh, when it comes to uh, annexing vassals, uh, the Diplomatic Reputation is exactly what we, uh, what we want and what we need. It's a little bit risky allying with Hungary, as you know. Uh, I won't ally them unless I absolutely have to, because there is, as you know, no real uh, reason right now. It seems that Bosnia, no, they haven't grown even further. It looks like they've grown a little bit bigger. Also, the war with uh, Denmark is over, so the Bosnians will probably go home, deal with their uh, rebels here. The Ottomans haven't really done much after they uh, got their asses handed them by the rebels, so uh, we'll see what they figure out. I'm a little bit unsure. Uh, no. Uh, it seems they have an old guy. For some reason, I thought they were still in, uh, in some sort of uh, some sort of uh, regency, but uh, that's us. And uh, that regency will uh, will last a little while. It'll be over in uh, in eight more years. So uh, we'll be sitting tight and see what happens. Austria started another war at this time against Switzerland and Venice. This is defensive war. We need to help our allies. Switzerland is allied with Hungary, Genoa, and Venice. Uh, we'll accept this one, and we'll also go ahead and leader may no leader may not negotiate for us. Uh, that is something I could screw us over. Hungary, Venice, and Switzerland. Can I actually? Uh, no, I'll have to uh, negotiate peace with peace with Switzerland. Should I negotiate anything? So I think we'll be uh, sitting by rather peacefully, not causing any troubles for ourselves or anyone else. I'm pretty sure that the Austrian alliance have more than enough men and are capable of uh, handling this uh, problem on their own. So uh, we won't be uh, we won't be stepping in. We'll simply be setting this one out. I do want to keep Austria as my uh, as my allies, though. So uh, we'll be a little bit careful, but ultimately we won't simply want to set this one out and see what uh, see what happens. Also, as you know, we uh, are waiting for the regency to end because we want to take Siena, Pisa, Rome, and uh, most likely the rest of Naples. Once we actually have, I say, the southern parts of Italy. We are basically free to do whatever we want. The only real issue then is that we have to try and keep uh, Austria as the Holy Roman Emperor and also France to some extent Castile uh, friendly to us simply because of the fact we don't want to uh, we don't want to end up in war with them. So if I could potentially get into a position where I could ally France, then I could easily uh, abandon uh, Austria, so to speak. But uh, I'll wait for this war to end, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, what you just saw was the end of troubles for Karakondrio. Uh, Eastern, uh, they are located east of the Ottomans, uh, nothing to worry about, but uh, as you can see this war is more or less one for them, so I'll be sitting by peacefully and see what happens. It seems that Austria has put themselves in, once again, in a very bad position. I need a mass at the turret, you know, so we'll go ahead and accept this one too. Uh, we'll probably avoid fighting though, unless they actually come down to, uh, to our lands here, but Austria is in a pretty uh, tight spot, I think. Uh, all in all, but still, it should be able to uh, to win this. Uh, this one should potentially be a little bit tougher, but uh, all in all, uh, as I said, I'm pretty sure they'll uh, end up victorious in, in both of these wars. So we'll simply see what they do, what they uh, decide of, and uh, we'll be sitting by peacefully. I'm pretty sure that since I demand... Uh, also, I shouldn't be able to give away uh, or any Bosnian provinces. That's, uh, that's just bullcrap. And if they can, that would uh, that would piss me off to uh, to a great extent. We'll take the money. I don't care if uh, the reform decides of the Catholic uh, the Catholic Church. We'll also go ahead and do uh, research temple and constable. Uh, next level is six. Uh, we'll be this soon. Also with military, we are closing in level one two. But as I said, I'm pretty sure that the Austrians can't actually uh, can't actually force anything here. And it seems they'll actually lose uh, both wars. But since I am the sovereign of Bosnia, I should be able to, uh, at least when I do this, that should make sure that the Austria can actually give away anything that's, uh, that belongs to Bosnia and thus me. So uh, if they can, I'd say that is an oversight, an extreme oversight that should be fixed. But uh, we'll have to see. Genoa accepts peace with the former, with Austria. Genoa will concede defeat, good. And Brandenburg has solved their internal conflicts, no idea what that's about. Uh, we'll go for this one, cooperation cost minus 25%, always good. Uh, we'll be creating a lot of costs, so uh, that's especially good. We're also hoping to get uh, these two, I think. Uh, if we can declare war on republics, that will make yeah, our lives a little bit easier. But for now, we'll simply be sitting by on the sidelines, even if I lose some of Bosnian provinces over here. 
it's uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, that's a little bit more troublesome though that they actually went out of Ragusa. But uh, let's see, can I actually? Uh, no, I don't have any diplomats, but still, uh, once Austria is done with Switzerland, I'm pretty sure they'll uh, get themselves going again. Serbian patriots in Bosnia is a good thing. Conquest on Sardinia. Can I fabricate claim now on? Uh, no, I can't fabricate claim on Sardinia itself. So uh, for now, I am, as you can see, just fabricating claims on whatever I can, whatever is uh, close to me. Thus, that in the event of a war, I can't just uh, claim it for myself. We'll also take this one: five percent more taxes, which is also good. We are barely uh, making a, a profit here. If I were to turn uh, maintenance all the way to the top, we would be uh, having quite the deficit. So uh, we'll ask you no seeing buys and see what happens. And once this war is over, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Also, just made peace with Switzerland at least, which should release some forces for them to uh, to use still. Uh, Ulm is apparently attacking them as well. So Austria has taken uh, Graubaden and Zurich, and along with Breisgau. So uh, they basically take in what this, this, and this. So a growing Austria is definitely a concern, but they suffered 30, th quite a bit of aggressive expansion. That is, uh, of course, a negative for them. And also with this, Bosnia is once again free. We can now. Not have to worry about, about that. Then sent it a military causation against me for some reason. I haven't actually been I haven't actually been doing any fighting for uh, for quite a while, so that's a little bit of a surprise. But uh, as usual, we'll be sitting on the sidelines. We'll be uh, trying not to take sides and simply wait for our regency to end, which is uh, coming closer to an end now. It's just as far as I know, three years uh, waiting. Uh, I believe it's 14, 15, or 16 years, probably 15. So uh, we'll be waiting and. Uh, See until that point. Austria just has got to be the most trigger happy country around. They're killing war with Brunswick as well. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have to accept. Uh, but at this rate, I won't actually be able to, uh, to use the Austrians for anything else than. Uh, well, basically, a. Uh, sorry, I had I have some error that simply doesn't want to come up. But still, as I was saying, uh, at this rate, the only thing that the Austrians actually will be useful for are the deterrent. And the uh, Bosnian forces are basically just, uh, well, there's just 2,000 men of them now, but still. Uh, the Bosnian forces are basically uh, the main contributor to what I will do. As you know, the colonization against me is pretty uh, annoying. Ferrara, Mantua, Milan, the Papal State, Siena and Venice. So I'll most likely go after Naples, which uh, is kind of scary. They have a huge force in 12,000 men, so uh, that's kind of scary, mostly because they're taking Messina and Palermo back. Uh, I'll probably go for Malta as well, I have no idea. But all in all, this uh, limits my uh, aggressive capabilities, I guess, and potentially it puts me in a position where I should go ahead in the next uh, Bosnia. But uh, we'll have to think about it, see what we'll, uh, what we'll actually do. But uh, for now, there aren't really uh, too much we can do, so we'll be sitting by peacefully and uh, Trying to come up with something. As you can see, we've updated our military technology. We now have uh, military tactics plus 0.25, combat width increased by one, and cavalry shock uh, by 0.25, along with new units and uh, uh, cavalry. We also have can build training fields and uh, march. So uh, we'll see what we'll do with that. Probably nothing. But uh, yeah, at this point, it's. Uh, kind of a gamble really as you know I want to go out to Naples but at this at this rate I can't really do so the ally with Corfu, Savoy and Siena and that could that could really be the what turns out to be the issue here because uh, Siena has 5,000 men and it's because of that kind of scary uh, Savoy I don't think they have that many plus they will probably not get military access Corfu simply doesn't have the power so if I at least can beat the uh, the Neapolitan army in, in battle, I should be able to uh, to win. But it also depends on uh, one other fact, and that is uh, it's probably a heretic. Oh, sorry, there's nothing you can do for it. Yeah, it's probably heretic. Uh, everything below will be old risk. But as I was saying, uh, at this rate, our targets are getting uh, fewer and fewer. What I could potentially do here is fabricate a claim on Genoa, but I can't. I can always go off to Savoy, fabricate a claim on Nice, and I think I'll actually uh, do that. They're not in causation with me, and uh, potentially I can take it from uh, from them once that happens. We'll also be waiting now for Austria to finish up the, their war. If I can drag Austria into the war with Naples, 
then I'm pretty sure I can take these three provinces without any pro any uh, any particularly huge problems. And then I can in the coming war after I take Lucania, Calabria, and then simply go for uh, most likely an annexation of them in the war after that. So uh, we'll see what we actually decide to do. But for now, we'll simply be sitting and waiting. Our legitimacy is hurting quite a lot thanks to uh, the Regency, but also thanks to our prestige. So uh, we'll have to uh, we'll have to uh, correct that sooner or later. But for now, there aren't really that much we can do. Milan is getting back Lombardia and Cuneo, thanks to Rebels. Uh, which also put me in a scared position, because uh, the colonization against me is actually pretty vast. It's, uh, let's see here. It's uh, Ferrara, Mantua, Milan, the Papal States, Siena, and Venice. So basically, all of my neighbors to the north. Uh, so, that kind of sucks. But uh, we'll see what happens, and uh, what we'll do. The Regency is over, Mikal, uh, the tent, Pal Palaio... Palaiologos uh, has currently taken uh, the throne 114 and we also have a new heir in Andronicus so uh, let's see how uh, how he is he is <laughs> pretty much the same level as the other guy I haven't really had any good rulers yet but uh, uh, since I actually want to see he's a, fail, he's a decent general which is uh, quite nice to know and uh, what would happen now if I were to declare war on Naples and uh, ask for Austria will actually join in. I'm actually tempted to wait though until. Uh, oh no, I think I can actually just declare war. I'll just uh, get my maintenance up to the maximum. Uh, allow my forces to, uh, to reinforce, so to speak. And once they have, we'll be marching on Siena. We'll be sieging Siena, trying to take them first. We can probably make a separate peace with them, even go for an annexation. If it doesn't cost too much. Uh, I might add, but it's a possibility, and it's probably something that we will actually go ahead and do. But for now, we'll uh, there we go. We'll be stopping it on this state here, and let's see. Declare war, take a bursi, and call all willing allies. Austria will join. So uh, there we go. We have lift off, so to speak, and Siena, not surprisingly, actually joined in. So with this, we'll be uh, we'll be fighting. But unfortunately, that'll have to uh, wait for the next episode, I think. Hopefully the Austrians will come down and help me, if not I'm in kind of a pickle. But uh, we'll have to see how it goes, if we can get the uh, victory we want and uh, everything that comes with that. So uh, thank you for watching this episode, I hope you have enjoyed it. And please leave a comment, praise, criticism, drop a like, subscribe. Basically I'll, if you like it, follow me and uh, hopefully I can uh, continue to do well. Yeah I know, I got a little bit sidetracked here, uh, trying to promote myself doesn't really work that well, sorry. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello there, and welcome back to Byzantium. Last time we only caught uh, Modena and Firenze, and then we ended up in uh, trouble with the Regency Council. So I can't really expect too much to happen. We're in a war with Austria against Denmark and the rest of Scandinavia, but uh, I'm not really uh, thinking that it'll be interesting. We also started improving our relations with France. Hopeful that they won't... Uh, Kills off so uh, without any further ado we'll get this uh, regency council out of the way then we'll probably go off to Siena, Rome, uh, Naples and all most likely Sardinia as well so uh, we'll be going after southern Italy first and then we'll see what we'll do also attempting to integrate uh, Bosnia it would make me uh, well eight more provinces it would make me almost double in size or triple in size is the right word so uh, we'll see what we'll do, but for now I'll try to uh, get myself out of the Regents Council, see if we can uh, get some friendly alliances going and so forth. We are allied with the Austria, as you know, but uh, we would try to get someone else. Bohemia is actually a uh, candidate, Hungary as well. They are actually rivals with us, so uh, we'll see what we'll do. But for now we will most likely uh, choose Naples as a rival. I don't like him, so I'll probably make them my rival right before war. Probably Siena as well. I might even the Pope. So we'll see what we'll do. A little bit of news here. I'm back at uh, minus 97 uh, prestige thanks to uh, recruits and rebels that I have to get to because I can't actually get military accesses to walk over there and I'm not uh, content building a fleet. What I am doing now is more or less building my army up to 13,000 men. I think I should be able to sustain it. And as you can see, Genoa is back and I've taken three of uh, Milan's provinces, which is kind of a good thing because now I can. Uh, declare war on them, vassalize them, and then I can get uh, into a war with Genoa and then force them to hand everything back to uh, back to Milan, I think. At least Cuneo and Lombardia. Uh, Liguria I'll probably have to take myself then. 
but at least that means that I now have uh, some sort of potential way to uh, to grow. But unfortunately, I can't do that before I am actually uh, in a position to uh, cause some trouble. Mercenary cost minus 25%, along with diplomatic relations plus 2, another diplomatic idea. But uh, yeah, what we will be aiming for is basically get to discipline one and miss, uh, missionary strength, <laughs> restore the ecumenical patriarch. Uh, it's a little bit uh, weird that I can actually use that because, uh, well, I'm no longer an orthodox, I am a Catholic. But we'll see, perhaps t returning to Roman Empire will turn me into uh, orthodox again. I'm not really sure if I can actually do that right now or if I have to go into... Uh, uh, there are no potential religions, religions to convert to right now, so we'll have to see if we'll counter an orthodox some way or another. 